Hello, my name is Russell Wire. I have lived in Michigan for most of my life. I am a big Michigan State Spartans and Detroit sports fan. I try to watch as much college football as I can, as well as Major League Baseball. I enjoy listening to 80s rock radio as well as 90s country music. I was raised on a livestock farm in Michigan where I showed animals in 4-H and at the county and state levels. I do enjoy traveling. And last summer, I was able to visit St. Louis for the first time. While there, I was able to see the Arch Museum. The furthest I have ever traveled is to Japan. Recently, I have been playing World of Warcraft to help distress after long days at school. I graduated from Michigan State University in 2012 with my Bachelor's of Science degree in Agriculture Education and started my teaching career at Cass City High School. Um, during my time at Cass City High School, I did receive my master's degree in career and technical education. After being at Cass City High School for four years, I decided I needed a change. I found a different school to teach at. That school was Divide County High School. I am currently employed at Divide County High School where I am teaching classes that include Agriculture 1, Agriculture 2, Agriculture 3 as well as egg mechanics, wood shop, and horticulture classes. As an agriculture educator, I am often faced with students who are being pushed into my classroom because they have nowhere else to go. As a result, I tend to be faced with challenging readers and writers. I have had students with third or fourth grade reading levels and I do my best to encourage them to participate when they have reading assignments throughout my course. I have tried to use small group works to have students read among their peers without having to read to the entire class. I find students tend to have issues with writing when it comes to how to spell the word correctly. As a teacher, I usually try to correct the spelling of words for students on their assignments so that they are able to see the correct way to spell the word and so that they're able to reference back to the proper spelling of that particular word. Um, I once had a student who struggled with reading. Any work that involved reading required me to highlight the sentences in the passage with the correct answer with where the student could find the correct answer so the student could actually answer and find the, question, the answers to his questions. Um, the biggest literacy related challenge that I am facing in agricultural education is motivating students to read and write. Some of my classes are exposed to reading and writing that involves their textbooks, which can be a battle at times for students to do this. One writing assignment that I had my egg mechanics class complete was to write a paper on the different components of an engine their purpose, and how their components related to one another. Another challenge I am faced with when it comes to literacy is encouraging students to obtain more information about agriculture from the technology the students use on a daily basis. Lastly, I am challenged with having students apply the new information that they obtain to their prior knowledge and to reflect on how they may have grown in literacy within my course. I hope to learn more about motivating students to take on a stronger role in their literacy needs. I'd like to find additional ways to encourage literacy within my classes and what types of grammatical errors I should be focusing on when I assign literacy assignments. I would like to become more knowledgeable about how to incorporate relevant literacy concepts within all of my classes.